people just for some reason thought it was so weird that we all had bangs but this has been going on in Rodney's family for is it a century now? Decades. My family have had bangs for generations now. My grandpa had bangs, my great great grandpa had bangs. Literally everyone had bangs and I, I felt really left out. We just decided to all get bangs. There's actually only two in a billion people that have this gene where you're born with bangs. And I didn't believe it at first, but when we had our child, he popped right out and he had bangs. People just started showing up on our doorstep. We did one haircut and then another and then pretty much the whole town just came out asking to get the same haircut. And that's when Sherry came up with the idea yeah. and we started the salon. The salon has been a huge success. I think people have tried to get banged up in other places, but what we've actually come up with is a particular style. There's a bounce that you just can't seem to get anywhere else and we're really proud of that. So if you want to get banged by us, head down to Cow in South Australia in between the Black Stump and the Delhi. Welcome back to Barbuda guys. Join us for an epic journey around the island and see the lead up to Riley deciding to ruin my life and get the exact same haircut as me, just for fun. Stick around to the end where you can actually see me getting pretty annoyed with him. <laughs> Babe, what the f Hello! We are sailing not so far, but we've got some time on our hands, which means that I'm able to explain to you all of the mouse traps and snafus that we encounter on a daily basis here with our life on the water. We're anchored on a beach in Barbuda and we're heading basically around the corner, but there's three problems that we've got to overcome. The first is I want to sail off anchor. The second is there's reef over here that we need to navigate through and around and there's also kind of uncharted stuff and then the anchorage is just surrounded by reef. So that'll be difficult to navigate. It's gonna have to be eyeballs and someone at the front while someone's helming with the baby on board. So yeah, there are three problems which I don't normally get the chance to explain to you because we're just like, get the sails up, we're getting out of here, and then we just sort of film as we go. But um, yeah, I'd like to take a little bit more time to explain the different problems and how we sort of deal with them. So the first one is we're gonna put the mainsail up and then come up on the anchor. So you've kind of got to leave the anchor dangling you in place. One cool thing is, is that at the last minute, the boat is gonna be swinging like this, like a dog's tail wagging, and I wanna go that way. So I'm gonna wait until at the last minute we swing out this way, and then I'll come up with the last little bit of the anchor. So you have gotta really judge it, and then you're going this way, and then you gotta get the head sail out real quickly so that then you're sailing. So that's the first one that we've gotta try and pull off. This is loose head sail furler line. So I can immediately, when the time comes, quickly pull on that and the first half will quickly come out and that's before it's powered up. And then Elena will feed me the rest. It's just a faster way to get the head sail out really quickly. And we'll take the jib line around this one and onto the electric winch so we can just go and get it out really quick. So we couldn't quite wag the dog tail appropriately. Yeah, it's really difficult to time coming up on the anchor and coming out on the head tail and spinning off. So we we're facing the wrong way. But uh, yeah, just put the engines on and spun around, pointing us off in the right direction and bang, straight away we are fine. So now we are dodging reef. So there's reef here, there's reef there, there's reef there. And we've decided to go all the way out and around them because we've got the sails up. And then we're going to head around Coco Point and, and then off into the anchorage. There's reef over there, see the light green? Just there. this belly would you? I'm 21 weeks now still super seasick a little fatigued here and there but that's about it starting to get harder to like get on the dinghy and stuff 
I remember this point with Lenny's pregnancy. Yeah, and getting up in the mornings, like you have to roll on your side. Your center of gravity and point of vanishing stability has been altered. It has. Oh yes, aha uh ha, -huh. our funny, funny captain with a ship stability pump there. Riveting stuff, indeed. It's just up here. pregnant lady. We have had the best few days with our friends here. We're back to hang out with you guys. Very rarely do we find a group of people like we have in Antigua and have such a sick time. Like we just had the best three or four days with them but we just spent yesterday catching up on some work and we're probably going to do some more later. But um, yeah, excited to be moving spots. Around here is amazing. We've been here once before and the weather is just divine over the next few days. So stick around, subscribe if you're new here. Happy all. This water is so clear. Hey. Hello. a spot to anchor. There's quite a few boats around and we don't like to be too close to people. Riley's always nude. Poor guys. And Lenny. I occasionally get the old top off. Woo! Love anchoring in shallow water. Found a spot in 1.8 meters at mid tide and the tide's only 20 centimeters so we are good and we're a little bit away from everyone which is nice as well for them i consider it Pretty happy with that. By the time this video goes live, you will definitely already know about the But we still don't know where we're gonna have the baby. Elena thinks it's gonna be I don't know. We have the baby here in Antigua. We have to wait another seven weeks till seven weeks old to move. Plus we have to apply for a new visa for the new baby, which takes time. So we could be delayed by months if we have the baby in Antigua, but if we go straight Riley can start the boat build while I'm super prego, and I can just be in my little newborn bubble and head into the factory every few days and do my little part. I'm confident it's all gonna fall into place and we'll be in two and a half months time. Baby's due in four months. I'm more up to speed with what exactly is going on. The outside factors which are stopping us from doing what we want to do. So I've been let down enough times that I'm very <laughs> concerned and skeptical. Hopefully we can have the baby in, if not Antigua. And at the moment, we're just having a beer on one of the world's best beaches. Poor Lenny. <laughs> what a day, you guys. Just watching the sunset, listening to an audio book while I think Riley and Lenny are in the shower. I'm listening to the great courses right now. You might have heard of them, they're actually pretty famous. But if you haven't, they're a series of books that you can learn everything from philosophy to cooking, history. I'm listening to one at the moment called The Theory of Everything and it's, yeah, it's college level education at the drop of a hat. I've probably mentioned it before to you, but I feel like I spent most of my high school years 
not paying too much attention. So I've kind of spent the last six years that we've been sailing catching up on all of that, a lot of online learning. Oh, that sun is still too bright. And that's why we really love listening to audiobooks on the boat. You can download them and listen to them offline. I can be hands-free. Yeah, something we really love and believe in and we're very happy to share with you guys. Super grateful we get to team up with Audible again for this episode. Thanks, guys. So if you just give me one sec, I'm going to share with you what the membership is and what that kind of means and how it works. So each month you get one credit to pick from the bestsellers new release kind of list and that audiobook's yours to keep forever download it it's all yours and with your membership you also get access to their plus catalog where there's thousands and thousands of titles you can download and listen and stream all you want they also have their audible originals in there which i really love podcasts um, meditation programs sleep tracks fitness programs and it's all in the one spot which is quite beautiful you just open it up and the world is your oyster now it is really nice to have all of that in the one spot so if you want to give audible a try they're going to let you try it for 30 days for free if you don't want to commit to something fully before you've tried it chances are you're going to love it though so if you want to give it a go feel free to head to www.audible.com forward slash slv or if you're in the states you can text slv to 500 500 They'll send you an SMS back and you can get started that way. And enjoy guys, really love the great courses, highly recommend that. Let us know what you're listening to if you're already on Audible. On with the show. <laughs> we met some lovely people on the beach this evening and um, Lydia, who has four boys, she just got the kids to drop us off some bananas because I told her we were out and we need to go back to the mainland soon. And a loaf of bread. And Jasper, he goes, can I come spearfishing? And I was like, how deep can you dive? And he goes, 20 metres. And I said, yes, you can. <laughs> Looking forward to it, young man. Yeah. Sun. If you saw our last episode, you'll know that we celebrated our friend's birthday party here. We planned to spend this morning with them because they were heading back to Antigua today. They wanted to take us on a hike to some oasis in the middle of nowhere. Up you get, mate. Come on. <laughs> So Riley's GoPro mount on his mask had broken recently, which is super inconvenient for us, being the world-class vloggers that we are. And also the fact that receiving mail here is a nightmare, and I'm pretty sure the new mask crossed the Atlantic more times than we have on its way to rendezvous with us. But anyway, these are the lobsters that Riley managed to snag. How'd you get him? One I just grabbed from under a rock through his antlers hanging out. One I went down and I went to tickle it out like 10 times. What do you mean tickle it out? With the snaffler. I yeah. went in and got behind it and tickled it. And then it bolted and I finally grabbed it. With your hand? With my hand. Another one. This was pretty good. There was a hole in the rock back here and it was there and I looked down and I just saw it retreating quite fast. So I put the snare down behind it and went with my fingers and it waltzed back into the snare and I went mm. and got him. And who'd you go with? Jamie and Princess who are on this Tim Mumby aluminium 48 foot catamaran which is in front of us which I think are fantastic boats built out of the Philippines. 
someone's woken up. Dad got a crab, dad got a crab. Lenny doesn't know lobster yet, but he knows crab. You wanna pick it up? I'll keep the heads and I'll try to use them tomorrow to get a mutton snapper or something. What'd you think, mate? You're a bit tired, aren't you? I was more excited than you were. You got lobster pasta for dinner. I went out and got four lobster and Elena was like, Oh, Leo, I thought I told you to get some footage. And I was like, I can't hold that camera with one hand and fight a two kilo Panarillus Argus with me other. And she's all like, Well, I've got to edit and look after Lenny as well. And we agreed that you needed to film if you were going to go out. And then I said, Ah, oh, for heaven's sakes, woman. You're always on at me. What's the point if we can't go out and blah, blah, blah. But we both knew that she was right. Awesome. That's a big one. <laughs> hey. What's the fish? A mackerel. How was it? Very good, man. What'd you do? We just went in, went around here and tried to get some lobster and I shot a little mackerel and it was good. Did Jasper forget anything? No, but he spotted the really big lobster. I should have let him get it. Well, he, he went down and saw it and, then, and came back up and he's like, oh, oh, oh. big, big. Big. So, and I went down and I saw it. It was just facing out. I'm so annoyed I don't have a GoPro mount on my mask so that I can film all this stuff, but it was just sort of had its antlers coming out of the thing and I, I just went in and grabbed it and it fought like anything around. I had to like pull it out of this hole. By its antlers? But yeah, but I was like right down on, the, on its head. Oh yeah, yeah. The dinghy's broken again. The, the um, outboard, it's just dirty fuel. Did you like my cookies I baked while you were gone? Yeah, they were pretty good. <laughs> It'll start, it needs to be in super high revs and it won't idle. So it's gonna be the jets again. I need to clean the carburetor out. When's the last time you had to clean it? We actually got someone to do that for us in Madeira. This is the carburetor. What does the carburetor do? I don't know. It's got jets inside that are clogged, so I need to pull them out. I've just been following a YouTube video. Good old YouTube. <laughs> Do we have no dinghy? I don't think so. Well, how did you break it? I broke the choke. But how? Because I pushed the little table out and it just popped. I was trying to fit this back in and I pushed it and it just like, Oh, out. shit. Well, uh, maybe it's because I just assembled the cow. Is there hope? No. Well, we're running low on <laughs> provisions anyway. We've been here for a few weeks in Barbuda. It's time to head back to the mainland, as they say. Back to Antigua. Get a few more jobs done. Good boy, mate. Where are we going? A beach data. Beach data. Colors this one. Yellow. 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 Yep. Is it better? So you didn't break it like you thought? No, I did. The choke is broken from the cowling, so the choke doesn't work like it should, but we can still get around. I had the idea for the title of this video for ages and I suggested to Elena that I cut my fringe like her and Lenny and she hates it. She's like really embarrassed. I'm gonna cut it now and then I'll film her flipping out. <laughs> she gets all embarrassed and I'm like, what are you embarrassed about? <laughs> Shh. 
machine gonna hit the camera? I think that looks great. So I, I came downstairs and I put the music on in the hallway. So that's blo blocking out her so she can't hear me because otherwise she'd know something's up. What does everyone think? Let me know in the comment section below. It's great. It's very practical. This is gonna be so funny. Cheers. Oh my god. I think it looks great. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's very practical. I've wanted to for ages. I really, I felt like I was missing out. That looks horrible. I think it looks great. We all look the same. I think me and Lenny look fairly similar. Babe, you're going to be wearing a hat this whole... Until that goes. I don't know what needs to happen, but that's not happening. <laughs> High five, Lenny. What have you got going on here, darling? Pregnancy toast, I would call it. We've got the mustard, got the pickles, about to have the eggs. And now you've had five minutes to let it settle in. What do you honestly think of the haircut? Honestly, it's horrible. I'm not happy. That's the ugliest haircut I've ever seen. <laughs> let me go and have another check. Make sure. Because I actually, I quite like it. Yeah, babe, that's killer. I'll put a nice shirt on and it'll look amazing. He got he gets a new haircut and now he thinks he's a rock star. Yes, actually. Honestly, the haircut's really quite disturbing. Oh, he said he's gonna cut it when I stop being embarrassed of him. <laughs> Your daddy's Honey. crazy. Honey? Yeah, he's pretty funny, but we won't tell him that, okay? Honey? Yeah. Honey and mama. Yeah, mama's funnier. Honey and dada. Funny dada? Honey and mama. Funny Lenny? Honey and Lenny? <laughs> Honey. This has been going on in Rodney's family for, is it a century now? Decades. 